Hi darlings, thank you for being here with me once again. Today we're going to be reviewing a foundation. It's a high-end foundation that has been super popular lately. It's very new in the market. So if you want to see exactly which foundation it is, and I actually have it on right now, then just keep on watching. Today we're going to be trying out the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. This is in a stick form and it comes in this beautiful brown packaging. Very, very Hourglass. Very typical. Um, basically it says that it's a seamless finish foundation stick and that it's supposed to blend very nicely and smoothly into your skin. I already tried this foundation. I've been using it for about a week because I wanted to do a full review for you guys. I didn't want to just do a first impression because sometimes we tend to change our opinion but I want to show you guys um, the application and how everything works the foundation itself is 0.25 ounces which is not a lot for a stick foundation I believe they're usually about 0.30 something like I've seen other ones I'm pretty sure that the one from makeup forever is a little bit bigger I can't really recall the size but it's a little bit less product than we're used to for stick foundations and this is the packaging which I think is so sleek it's so beautiful it has like a little triangular shape and then when you open it here you have your foundation so it's a little bit different than the norm typically stick foundations come in a um, kind of like a circular form I've tried the Bobbi Brown which is a really good one I tried the Makeup Forever which I hate it <laughs> I really really don't like it and I also tried the Fit Me Stick Foundation from Maybelline so this is a little bit different and I, that's why I really I was dying to try this foundation because I've been looking for a stick foundation for a while that I really really love and uh, so far I liked the Bobbi Brown one but it's um, I wasn't obsessed either um, so I wanted to give this a try so let's go ahead and try it in front of the camera so you guys see how it blends by the way the color that I'm trying or that I'm using is golden amber and this is a swatch it looks a little bit dark on me as you can see it there but once it's blended into my skin it blends perfectly it's very um, golden undertone very yellowish undertone like myself so that's definitely fine I typically match my neck which is a tiny hint darker than my face so I I like the color so far so you guys let me know if you think it's too dark for me but I like it so far. The price point is $46, a little bit expensive for the product, the amount of product that you get, the 0.25 ounces, but it is a typical price point for a high-end foundation. So let's go ahead and apply it to the skin. For one side of the face I'm going to be using a brush and for the other side I'm going to be using a beauty blender so you guys can see the difference. I am going to be priming my face because that's what I typically do so you know anyhow that's how I would normally wear a foundation and I'm going to be using my Too Faced Hangover Primer I have been using this little guy for a while and I really really like it it's a travel size or a trial size um, that came in my Ipsy bag so yeah I'm just going to be priming with it and it smells so good Per usual, I'm going to be applying my corrector for the under eye area this is Benefits Erase Paste and I'm going to be applying just a small amount Right underneath my eyes with my fingers of course if you don't have really dark under eye circles you can really obviously skip this step but it makes a huge difference for me when it comes to my under eyes so I cannot cannot skip that so now we're gonna go in with the foundation and I'm just gonna draw a few lines on my face just like that <laughs> So like I said, on this side, I'm going to be blending it with a brush. This is an It Cosmetics uh, Airbrush Blurting Foundation Brush. And I'm just going to go in directly. It blends so easily into the skin. As you guys can see, like super, super easy with a brush. This side is completely blended into the skin using the brush. As you can see, it blends super beautiful. It looks super lightweight. I don't even feel like I'm wearing makeup like that's the main reason why I really really like this foundation it's super super lightweight and you can layer and layer makeup over it and it's still gonna feel lightweight that's why I really like it we're gonna do this side with a beauty blender just bouncing it just keep bouncing just keep bouncing 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 it blends really well also with the Beauty Blender. 
All right, so that is it. This side was blended using the Beauty Blender and this side using the brush. And I honestly feel like I got a little bit more coverage with the Beauty Blender. Don't ask me why, because typically it's the opposite. You get more coverage using a brush. But for this particular foundation, I think I liked better the application of the Beauty Blender per usual. It was a little bit easier to blend, I feel, with a brush. But then with a the Beauty Blender, I feel like it's it looks better. I don't know. You guys might not even see a difference, but I can kind of see it from, with, you know, getting really close to the mirror. You guys let me know if you see the difference, but yeah, that's what it looks like. So now I'm going to continue with my concealer per usual. I just want to apply it so you guys can see the application and how it blends um, with the foundation. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am in the color 10. So we're just gonna apply it per usual in a triangular shape, upside down triangle little shape. Blending that per usual with the fingers first. To set underneath my eyes, I'm gonna be using the yellow shade from the Kat Von D Contour Palette as always. That is my favorite under eye powder for the under eye area. So I'm just gonna do that per usual here. I just feel like it brightens up the area so well. I kind of feel like the foundation needs to be set in place because it's, it's so like natural looking but it feels a little bit wet on the skin like a little bit tacky so it's a foundation that I will typically set so I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder I am in the color 240 or Golden Beige in case you're wondering and the face brush that I'm using is by Real Techniques and it's a dual fiber face brush. I just apply a really really small amount though I don't apply a lot all right so that is the full application of the foundation I am going to do my eyes and the rest of the face um, in a different video just like a video tutorial you know a makeup tutorial so you can be in the lookout for that and then I'll be right back to let you know and show you guys the finished results okay be right back all right, so I'm back and I completed my full face of makeup. I'm going to have a tutorial on this, so just be in the lookout. It will probably be uploaded right after this one. So my final thoughts. I love this foundation. As you can see, everything, every single product that you apply over it blends beautifully. It's a very nice canvas for any product. Like the bronzer goes on super smoothly. The um, blush, the highlighter, everything. I really, really adore this foundation. As you can see, after a while, kind of oxidizes and it becomes a little bit more my skin tone. At the beginning, it looks a little bit orangey, but I think after the entire face of makeup, it looks pretty decent and very close to my skin tone. My opinion is I give this foundation a 9 out of 10. I really, really like this foundation. It's super, super natural looking. I can wear it to go to work and I don't feel heavy or cakey. It looks super, super natural, very lightweight. It's not a dewy, dewy foundation. It's more on the natural side and that's why I keep saying natural. Um, but it's not super matte, so it doesn't dry, doesn't sit on my dry patches, and doesn't crack up on my my line which happens to me quite often and it's just beautiful it blends so easy it is the first first foundation in a stick form that I am obsessed with so I really really recommend it yes it is on the pricey side $46 it's a little pricey but I totally think it's worth it like you get what you pay for like I mentioned before the only cons and the only reason why I don't give it a 10 is because it is a pretty cheap size amount that you get you get 0.25 ounces of product in here which is a little less than the normal but then again i mean you don't need a ton of foundation to get a full coverage on your face so maybe you know it's mm. and then the other reason why i don't give it a 10 is because i do feel the need to set the foundation it doesn't totally bother me like i'm okay with setting my foundation i'm used to it lately um but it would be better if you if it didn't feel a little bit sticky at the end with when you haven't set it like after setting it it's perfect i can kiss somebody i can hug somebody and it's not going to transfer but if you don't do that i feel like it will so i don't know i haven't tried it without setting it but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to. I don't like hugging people and leaving my marks. I mean, it happens sometimes with everything else, but yeah, um, that is the only reason. But other than that, I am obsessed with the foundation. The they have a lot of different shades, which I think you can find your perfect shade. They have 25 shades of foundation, so I feel that anyone can find the perfect shade for themselves. It's 
like the undertones like the golden undertone is definitely for me they have more pinky undertones more yellowy undertones and so I think that anybody can find the perfect shade and you don't have to be buying two and mixing it I'm not a fan of doing that I mean I do it if I have to but I don't believe in having two of the same foundations just to get the right color like it's not it's not worth it it's not it shouldn't be like that so I feel like anybody can get the right shade with this foundation other than that what else like it's just be a beautiful foundation I really really like it I like it 20 times better than the ultra HD foundation it has become a staple for me I will probably repurchase it I mean I'm not a big repurchaser foundation like I like to try a new product this one I feel like I will actually rebuy it because it's so easy to just you know go like that and, and apply a little bit and blend it like it's easy it's not messy it's it's, it's a beautiful product I like the fact also that the applicator is in the triangular shape because you can actually get into like little edges like little corners like if you want to use it as a um, concealer as a um, um, you can actually use them also for contour and I believe they have like two or three shapes that you can that are particularly for that So I think I, I love the shape. I am obsessed. I really really like it I really recommend it. This is my humble opinion everybody's skin and and complexion and everything is different So let me know if you have tried this foundation. Do you like it? What do you think about it? And let us know your skin type so we can all get um, You know your feedback. I have dry skin. I think I forgot to mention that but if you're not new in my channel, you know Know that I have very dry skin um, and again it doesn't settle into my dry patches it doesn't make me oily but it doesn't make me dry so it's just a beautiful beautiful foundation so I think that's it if I forgot to mention something then ask please I am here for you guys sometimes I take a little bit long to answer just because I work I'm a mom and I'm a housewife so I am doing a lot of things I do answer as soon as I can so if you have any further questions please let me know I will leave the link to this foundation in the description box um, I purchased it at Sephora I'm not sure if Ulta actually carries this foundation but anyways I'll leave the link down below thank you so much for watching besos don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already